think uh, digital tools are new new ways for artists to make art but it's not the tool that make art it's the, the artists so it's just a new way uh, uh, before we, we, we can make uh, painting and we still can make painting with brushes and colors and canvas digital art uh, um, brings a um, all new array of um, tools for the artist. The computers, for example, the projections. Um, um, but we must not forget the intention of all that. Why are we doing art? What, uh, is what the, the type of art we want to do is it uh, really important that we uh, we use digital art? My, my, my point is, do we use digital art sometimes because it's fashionable? I think we need a real intention. Why? And, and I will make uh, with digital art something I cannot make, with, I cannot express with other, other field of uh, expression. Uh, if it's to make the same thing than before, uh, it, it's not the, the, the good point, I think. It's quite advanced because um, in Quebec we are um, a smaller society and a big uh, anglophone society, so um, this um, this made us uh, work with um, uh, little budgets. Contrary to the to uh, Europe, for example, in America, North America, especially, we had uh, we have access to computers and and, and uh, technological tools since a longer time. Uh, it was easier here for an artist to uh, work with computers because it was accessible. It took a long time uh, in other countries to, to develop this, just the accessibility of the tools. So it made us work with uh, technology and, and uh, computers uh, since the beginning. So we have quite a lot of experience, I think, in Quebec and to... to I think in a movie, uh, of course, you have uh, a lot, a lot of digital artists nowadays, and especially in the big movies. But you still have a director, and the director is probably not the one that will program, that will, that will um, uh, be uh, riding the machines. So you still need an artist which is not just into the digital. Um, way of seeing things. I think we, to, we have to bring the, those tools of digital art into something greater than just uh, having fun with the tools or, or just showing off the tools or, uh, or being uh, maybe um, stuck with the fashion of, um, of all that, you know. Uh, so I think you become a digital artist when your tools become transparent when you don't see the tools anymore and i think it's the same for any kind of art form you become a real dancer when you don't see the difficulties of dancing uh, your body is just flying and, and people don't see all the work behind the technical aspect of dancing disappear. Same thing for classical music, the, 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 the violin will disappear if you're master your violin. So mastering digital uh, tools is difficult because the tool, your violin, is always evolving. There's always a new update, there's always a new program, a new software, a new machine, a new interface. So you try to master something which is really uh, virtual in a way, which is always moving. So I think any kind of artist in any kind of art form become really becomes an artist when he masters his art. So, uh, yeah, that's so it takes years, decades to master.
digital art will come from really uh, the tradition of visual art. Some will come the tradition of uh, performing art, which is totally different. Some will come from performing, uh, or so. And we see more and more digital art into concerts or uh, into dance uh, show. So I think dig digital art has digital tools in in our lives. We all have digital tools all, all around us. It's kind of um, it's the principle of uh, positive contamination. It's kind of contaminating everything. When I started the, more than 30 years ago, uh, people were... Um, I was taken for, for a UFO, you know, I was an extraterrestrial. Nobody knew how to describe what I was doing. And nowadays, we see more and more digital art everywhere, in every... Uh, Every shows, every event has a digital art form, and I think uh, it's uh, it's great for me. It's it's a dream come true. <laughs> I think it. I think it's it's something apart right now. The. The, the big challenge is to uh, name things without compara comparison. Uh, so people, uh, Tan and Critic and Art people, can, uh, try, uh, they always try to compare with the work of somebody else or the kind of work, so they want to put it in a box. But of course cinema, you know, the beginning of cinema, it started as a, as a magic show. Like, um, there was a magic show, and in between the scene of the magic show, real, real life, ma magic tricks, they were, uh, to change the set, they were putting some, some movie, the Frère Lumière in France, they, they, they were doing... So actually, cinema, and actually people were looking at a movie, but were looking at the projector as much, because the projector was something really fascinating. So I think cinema is an art, technological art installation that worked really well. It was not exposed uh, five, for a month in the gal art gallery. It was there, it stayed there, and then decades later, some people like Eisenstein or, or, or uh, great, great directors started to take this technique and make it an art form. I think it's the artists and, and uh, the group of artists that really in, in, um, go really uh, far into uh, uh, one technique like cinema or digital art and, and the art form will, will be named, of course, because it's not cinema, it's not theater, it's, uh, we, it's not visual art. We use all those art form art forms to, to work together and make something something new using uh, digital tools. Um, so it, it's, an, it's kind of um, um, a mixture of all those kind. Somebody will coin an expression one day in the future and will say, okay, this is like uh, this form of art. You know, what is uh, the opera, you know, the, the, the singers? It's music, it's theater, it's visual art, it's uh, even not digital because there's a lot of projections and, and operatic shows. So uh, opera before was this kind of musical show that it was not named and at a point some, somebody came with this expression to name it and I think of course uh, digital art will, will have that. But I started 30 years ago, there was no computer 30 years ago, so we used the um, uh, film projections and film uh, and slide, slide projectors, and um, I made, uh, we, we made sensors uh, like touchpad, it was not existing at that point, so it started by analog, being analog, 
and slowly we replace the, the, the film projection by video projection and progressively we, we replace the editing room by the computer and, and then we became, we became totally uh, digital. Cité Mémoire is totally digital. But then if you look at Cité Mémoire, the, the artistic direction is not techno. It's not that at all. It's full of human that we shot as a movie and that incorporated and in, in. so it it's not because you use technological tool that you have to make a show which is cold and technologic. You can have a, something really human and something really about emotion and still using that's why it's better if your technology disappear. Then there's no screen before be, between you, the work you do, and the audience that receive the work. So making your your your, your art form uh, invisible and master it so it becomes invisible makes you talk directly to the audience without this this big uh, uh, screen. Of, uh, in cinema, there's theater, there's visual art because some are really slow, so it's almost like a mural animated mural and some are, are faster but we started this project by looking all over the world by internet and, and traveling to see what has been done in this kind of uh, uh, giant urban projection and we saw so many video mapping some are really good I would say a great majority of what we saw looks the same it looks like a preset, you know. Crack the building, the building is cracking. Vegetation, uh, you know, through the cracks, and then it becomes in heights, and then because it looks like presets, and it's all uh, done with what we call broadcast design. So this kind of graphic art, moving graphic art, using uh, archive or, or really uh, uh, very graphic. Uh, we decided with Cinema to go totally in a different. Um, we said to ourselves, it's a, it's a project about history. The people that made the city, that uh, built the city, that, that were uh, living in, in this city, their soul is still, are still in the wall, in the bricks, in the stone of the walls of the old Montreal. So let, let's make those characters go out of this wall. So we have 24 walls and they're all different size. So the, the idea is to treat the wall not as a screen because we don't want to see the border. So we use it on black background and the character goes out of this wall, but this wall is in a city. So you can see the, the church, you can see people walking, and then you can see this character. So it, it's more about humanity. The fact that Montreal is really a human scale city and the quality of living we have here is really humans, really. Uh, so um, it was, um, for us, it was really important to do a, a project on the history of Montreal that will talk about this humanity and not too cold and not just techno and just flashes. I think we're, we're kind of past this. This uh, I think at the beginning of digital art, we had a lot of um, fascination. We still have a lot of fascination for the tools, for the new computers, for the new program, for the new stuff. And at a point, you, you have to forget that and say, yes, this can, this helps me to express myself, but this is not the final point, the technology. The final point is to reach people and to talk to them. If you talk to them, for example, Cité Mémoire, it's on big, big uh, projections on, on buildings, but it's linked with your phone. And this, uh, this was interesting because the phone, this little machine, was, which has 10 years, 10 years, we cannot live without all my secrets are in there, all my photos, all my password, all my little ideas, everything. It's an intimate object. And if I'm invited to go and walk into the streets, this makes uh, demand a, a kind of effort. So having my phone 
securely. It's, you know, it's still my intimate object. And those giant characters, they speak, they whisper to me through my phone. So there's, a, there's this, this link of um, um, how to be a digital artist. It was easier, I would say, uh, 20 years ago because uh, nobody had all those machines in their own. So you were, it, it was much easier for an artist to, to impress or to surprise people. So nowadays, as a digital artist, uh, the audience is, their lives is full of technology. They, they have televisions and tablets and everything, computers. So, so you, it's really time for digital artists to grow up and quit the time of uh, being a teenager and become an adult and say, okay, we use those tools, but now let's say something about it and let's change the world. Why doing all that if we're not becoming better human ourselves as an artist and if we're not a little bit maybe, but at least a little bit contribute, contributing to um, make humanity better, better human. With all the virtual reality um, uh, phenomena, uh, which takes a long time, because we talk about that since a long time, so it's not even totally there in the mass media, this will be the next frontier, the, the, the VR. We have projects in VR, and I think VR, it's more close to theater than to a cinema. I think people that uh, have an experience in theater are more inclined to do good VR than people from cinema. Because in cinema, you have, you, you have really the, the, the grammar, cinema, cinema grammar. So if, if we have this scene, you would have an ensemble shot to establish where we are, maybe outside and then inside, and then a two shot, and then a close up of me with over shoulder, and then close up of you with over shoulder, and maybe a, a, a bigger close up, and then a close up of my eye. This is cinema grammar that has been developed since 100 years. This doesn't apply uh, to, to VR. Uh, VR, you don't do anything like that. This doesn't apply to uh, all the projects we do. When we add uh, uh, some show we do, we add some virtual character like holograms uh, beside real actor. You can treat it like cinema. It is not gonna work. So, um, I think it's, it's a new art form and, and we're discovering it uh, as we, we make it. I think it's, um, in a spiritual point of view, it's, it's great because everything is uh, immaterial, everything is uh, not forever, even Earth is not forever. And uh, so the, the, the uh, kind of evanescence, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, not totally in reality. Uh, I think as a as, um, society, it, mm, I hope all this uh, virtual reality thing will push us uh, to come back to reality sometimes. Do both go to virtual reality, but come back to reality and appreciate more reality. Nowadays, we see a lot, a lot of people walking on the streets. There are beautiful things to see and they watch their phone, you know. So maybe Cité Mémoire is, is that, you know, yeah, watch your phone, but then rise up and look up, you know, reality is as, as interesting. So maybe the fact that we'll go really into virtuality but, you know, permanence is, is an illusion. As sculpture, we say, oh, it's, it's there forever. Man, no, it's not there forever. It will be destroyed at a point. A painting is the same thing. A movie is really fragile. All the movies right now, if they don't digitalize the movies, they, they will die. So 
it's a good thing that uh, that uh, 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 digital art works into uh, non-permanent. This is really important. Uh, ask yourself more questions about uh, what you want to say, what was important for you. So it's a research on ourselves. When when you you do a piece, you first do an introspection of uh, what is uh, surprising you, what is uh, annoying you, what is uh, uh, disturb you in the world, and uh, how you want to express that, your point of view, and and then later. Uh, ask yourself which tools I need to express that. If you start by the tools, you, you might be stuck with the tools and the limitation of the tools. And the, uh, I, Personally, I, I think the best advice if, if you buy a, or, or you have access to a digital um, uh, instrument to, to make art, read the, um, the instruction manual upside down. Don't do what they say it, it do. Take the projector and make it upside down and make it to a mirror and change it and change the color and do something n nobody does and, and transgress the, 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 the tools. The tools are there just to help you express yourself and transgress them. Don't, don't be too in love with your tools.